Well, hell fire. It is Rock the Riff. And today, first time ever happened, I had a game developer, a uh, game dev, reach out to me. Uh, name is Kyle. Let me get this pulled up. Uh, said, hey, Rock the Riff, I'm Kyle, solo dev and founder of the indie game studio Moon Mantis Games. I'm working on the studio's first game, Trace Hunters, a single-player third-person shooter where you play as an armed vehicle. Here's a two-sentence pitch for the game. In Trace Hunters, you're outnumbered and alone. Blast through hordes of enemies in a futuristic combat vehicle to uncover traces of lost technology, earning a variety of upgrades to become even more powerful. Uh, and I've got to say, this is surreal. This is a dream goal I have of mine for video game devs to reach out, want me to test out their games and everything. So, Kyle, if you see this, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, we're going to dive into the demo here. And uh, I do want to preface this, just like I do my Metalhead Envies, uh, straight up honesty. No bullshit. And anybody watching this video, you're going to get to see exactly what's going on i don't edit cut nothing out let's uh dive on in i still record okay all right so it says launching we'll see how this goes <laughs> Normally, it would launch a bit easier, but I can't tell if Steam is doing something funny right now. Here we go. There we go. Moon Mantis Games. All right, this is the demo version of Trace Hunters. In the demo, you can play through the beginning of the game, unlock a small set of weapons, and repeat levels as much as you like. Note that Trace Hunters is not released yet. Content in the game may change slightly before release. Have fun. All right. Do we have controller support? All right, it doesn't look like we do at the moment. Routine delivery. As a new Trace Hunter delivered supplies, is it your dream that everyone starts somewhere? You're headed to Echo Station, a remote outpost of the vast and desolate canyon lands. This arid, arid, or arid, dusty and mostly lifeless expanse, surrounded by steep cliffs and the occasional old world ruin. Rumor has it ages ago this barren place was once a fast. Oh, sorry vast ocean full of life that was later settled by your ancestors. Those days are long past. However, as you approach Echo Station, something seems off. I like the music so far. Let's turn down the master volume. Seems like it's just a tad bit loud in OBS. Okay, controls, left mouse, right mouse, accelerate, brake reverse, steer, AV. Space. All right, so I can't say handbrake is space, boost is shift, reload, top or shield. I can't say I want controller support. I know this is a demo, and I'm assuming the finalized game. I know with the finalized game, I would want controller support. I am not, I am not the easiest to deal with on mouse keyboard. It's fucking hard for me. Accelerate W. Okay. Let's get into it. Embark. Which Kyle did mention in the email that uh, we have got... Uh, he's like, 
He's like, he said, mentioned something about metal. So I guess he's seen that I'm a metalhead or whatever. Okay. I kind of wish that if I was holding forward, that the this would just go whichever way I'm aiming. But it looks like we have to have AD to uh, turn left and right. That's going to definitely throw me for a loop. Alright, so shield. How long does the shield last? Okay, so the shield is infinite. Or I didn't... Was it moving that yellow battery? Maybe it's kind of like Halo. Once the shield goes down, then it comes back. Alright. So we got boost. Alright. Handbrake. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are going to have to uh, deal with my shitty driving. I don't think I've played a vehicle combat game since like Twisted Metal. So this will be interesting. Defend the outpost. Okay. Oh. oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Let's get out of here real quick. Oh, hail fire. Hell yeah. I like the feel of the guns, that's for sure. I just suck at the driving. Oh shit. I'll get it down. I'll get it down. Alright, I want the music kick back in. So I guess is that the time thing right now or is it an actual action thing that kicks in? Okay, so the, yeah. Man, that shield's actually a lot then. Let's see where these supplies are at. We can just drive over them. E to repair. E to resupply. I guess that's all we can do is pick up one su resupply. Yeah, I feel like if I had a controller, I could definitely drive a little bit better. But, at the same time, the mouse, yeah, okay, what's up with the music there? Get the shield going. Boom.
Fuck yeah. Ah, okay, I see what you're talking about now, Kyle. I wasn't sure if we was gonna get a lot of uh, electronic music. But that riff was fucking good. Which, by the way, any game developers ever want me to fucking write some guitar riffs, please reach out to me. I would fucking love to do that. Alright, let's get my shield off and back up. Hold on. Need to go get that other resupply. Bum, 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 bum. Man, that turn is like when you're backing up and you do a turn, it's pretty, pretty stout. Which I guess if I let Alka, so let off the acceleration, I can turn a bit better. Completion bonus 2000, image destroy 66. Six minutes, progress to new unlock. Yeah. Whoever's doing the music for the game, y'all y'all killing it so far. I like this. Gifts from the sky. Echo station detected potential casanite deposits in nearby meteor sites. Time to investigate. Uh, after reaching the outpost, you discover that several meteors made landfall not too long before you arrived. The outpost staff detected strange readings on their scanners and believe it might be traces of cassonite, the long-lost crystalline mineral that allowed your ancestors to explore the stars. He who controls the spice, you rush to survey the impact sites, eager for the chance to find Cassidy with the rogue servitors organized. It's almost certain that won't be easy. Search for the impact. We're going to find us some rocks. Scan show impact. There it is. Don't forget to search. On the impact sites. Damn it, man. That turning. Come on. Go, go, go. We want to hit him. Dark! I feel like I need some upgrades.
get my ass whooped there for a minute. Driving in a circle will be good. I'm on. I'm on. Don't get stuck. Fuck. Fuck. Mighty. Oh. I love the sound of this game. The gunshots sound good. The music sounds fantastic. I can't... I wonder if it would help to hear the engine of the, this a little bit more. Maybe. I like the particle effects of uh, the explosions and everything. Let's 
you do the breach. Empty. Yeah, I did that because that was cool. And I've mastered the driving. Where's the bridge? and unlock bump bump bottom bump use the handbrake to help you corner if i was a better driver i would thanks for playing the demo version of trace hunters in the full version of the game you'll have to access more two more weapons to unlock additional missions to finish the narrative and a host of enemies intent on destroying you you can replay the demo as much as you like that you won't be able to advance further be sure to wish list this so you'll get notified when the game releases all right uh i like that uh it's not just because a game developer has reached out to me um i think in part will be because i haven't played a vehicle combat game in a while um the only thing i want i want controller support uh i feel like me driving and dodging would be a lot easier with controller even though it would be still be a challenge uh, let me read off some of the things I want to open up the press kit talk about it for a second so developer moon madness games plan release date Q3 2024 so I guess that's quarter three I've never really understood that to a thousand percent uh, let me go into the master bar so I didn't save that all oh, because I didn't hit apply. So hopefully y'all were hearing what I was saying. <laughs> uh, platforms release on Steam, price to be announced, Langu language is English. Uh, you can contact them at press at moonmanus.gg. The rating has not been yet there, which uh, I mean, I would assume rated T because there ain't no blood or guts. Um, I dig the sound. I love the sound. I think the music was cool. Uh, the riff that was playing in that one, I wanted to hear some more of that riff. I feel like that's a good combat song. Uh, but I like the electronic music as well. Uh, I think graphics-wise, not bad. Maybe a bit more of a... I don't know. I don't know what, like, because there is dirt flying. I love the part of it. Like, when the robots blow up, I think that looks really cool. Uh, is there a way to mess with the field of view? I don't think so. The only thing that kind of threw me for a loop a little bit. So, yeah, we could have we could have did different things. Resolution at 1280. Why is that there? Motion blur was on. Uh, the only thing I could say visually wise is when the, when I had the shield on, I feel like that shield is so bright and it's so like maybe the opacity of the shield could go down a little bit because it fucks with me visually looking at other things to shoot. Uh, but overall, really, really cool, especially for a demo, especially for a, a, a video game company's first game i think that's fucking awesome uh, i don't know much about the actual coding and everything of games i love video games i love playing them if i was smart i would have went into video game creation and learned coding and all that but for me as the player i had fun with that uh check it out on steam today see what your thoughts are and go support somebody trying to make a video game with all that being said if it's your first time here, please like, comment, subscribe. Any other game devs see this, want to want me to test out something, please. That's awesome. I was so excited. I walked up to my my my, my woman yesterday, and I was like, "Yo, 
first time ever somebody reached out to uh, see if I would test out a game. So Kyle, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really, really appreciate you uh, reaching out and everything. Trace Hunters, go check it out. And with all that being said, stay positive, stay rocking, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.